I'm Rich Jones, I work for Future Publishing, I'm here to tell you about Orient DD, um, and hopefully you'll find out what that is after this talk. Um, so it is a graph database, so relationships uh, as opposed to a relational database where everything in tables and you have foreign keys and joins, you have in a graph database you have vertex, vertices and edges, and rather than going between primary keys in tables then you go from vertex to edge to another vertex of a different class as is demonstrated in the handy diagram. The example that I'm going to be going through, because we're a publishing company, we're going to have uh, users who visit articles. So that's going to be pretty simple. We've got users and articles are vertices and visits are edges. But as opposed to something else like Neo4j, which is the only other graph database I've heard of, uh, you'll get um, its document stores. So the vertices and edges can each have properties added to them. So rather than as in Neo4j, where you have to look up your, once you've got your ID of your vertex, you have to then look up the data in a separate storage system. You can have the data right on the vertex and edge right there, which is a bit more efficient. And also, uh, to lower the barrier to entry, once you've got your data in there, you can just use pretty much bog standard SQL to get the data back out again. So hopefully everyone knows some SQL. Everyone could use this right away. Also, it's open source, which is also great. So how do you get data in? Um, like I said, we've got articles and users. Um, Orient DB comes with its own uh, extract, transform, load uh, uh, scripts. You've just got to give it data JSON files and config files to tell uh, the ETL scripts how the, how the data is formatted. So these are the articles, that's pretty simple. You've got a unique ID and a page title, another property on there. And then the users gets a bit more interesting because you have the user ID which is you know the unique idea of the vertex, and then you've got the array of articles that that's going to create edges to. And that's um, hopefully made clear in this config JSON, where you have load in the users, uh, use the user ID as the primary key, create the user, and then when you find the has visited array for each uh, element of that array, create an article, create an edge to that article. And this is just saying that uh, the user ID and the article ID should be unique indexes so you don't end up creating multiple article IDs with the same, uh, multiple articles with the same ID. So when you install, um, when you install OrientDB, you go to localhost 2480 and then you get this lovely little picture of a sunset. Uh, it's, this is called the studio, which is like a all-in-one, everything, all-you-can-eat kind of um, workshop, work set. So I want to show you the schema. Um, as well as being all of those things I went through in the last slides, uh, it's also got some aspects of object orientation, where uh, every vertex will extend the uh, V class over there, and every edge will extend the edge class over there. So you can have properties on those classes, which every edge you create will also have, and then you can have some very interesting class hierarchies. It's obviously a bit more advanced than if you'd be able to do in MySQL or anything like that. Um, then you need to worry about how you might get data out once you've got it in. Obviously there's a PHP API, which looks pretty similar to um, querying any other relational database really. Um, this one is official from the people who make Orient DB, which is Orient Technologies by the way. Um, so, yeah. Uh, there's also the console, which is just, you know, command line. There you go, make selects, there you go. Um, but the most interesting thing probably, is that you can write um, stored procedures directly into the studio, save those, so this is a stored procedure which will get the articles that a user has visited. Let's run that, without the uh, comment. So you can run that here and then you get all of the information there, but then you can also just um, run that from a REST URL, so you can, so that's quite a powerful way to expose stored procedures that's directly in the database system itself. Um, what we were using this for at Future was trying to um, trying to map relationships between our users and our articles. So if we've got a group of users that like this one article, then what other articles might these users like? So <coughs> this is probably easier to visualize in a graph. Here's what I made earlier. So you've got the lighter pink nodes are articles and the darker red nodes are users. So you've got this group of users around here is looking at this article, but this group here 
is a point here. Yeah. This group here is also <laughs> looking at this article, so maybe these around this article would also like this article. So that's the kind of thing we're trying to do. And once you visualize that kind of problem, then you can write um, SQL ish SQL that will generate that. And this generates um, a list, um, an ordered list of the most popular articles that a user might like to have a look at after they've finished looking at the other articles. That's all I've got. Mm -hmm.